This is the Yuffie E332K Video Smart Lock, a 3-in-1 combo. It has a deadbolt, integrated doorbell, and a camera. All in a pretty slim package, but is it worth it? Well, let's find out. Inside you will find all the content that is needed to install this on your front door. So right away you will be greeted with the door lock in two parts, the interior and exterior part. You get a nice security sticker, a quick start guide to help you get started, two sets of keys, a couple of screws, the strike plate, the deadbolt, and a rechargeable battery. Taking a closer look at the security smart lock, this only comes in this black and dark gray color and it has a matte finish which I like because it helps prevent fingerprints from showing up. So what makes this very convenient is that there are five ways of unlocking it. You can unlock this with your fingertips through the Eufy app, over voice command using Google Assistant or Alexa, and the last two ways of unlocking this is with the keypad or with the physical key. Jumping over to the installation process, it was very quick and easy. Just follow the instructions on the phone and you should have this up and running fairly quickly. The only place I can think of that may take you some time is when installing the strike plate. The strike plate is larger than most common ones found on front doors, but you can just leave your previous strike plate if it aligns well with the deadbolt. If it doesn't, you will need to spend some time to make the new strike plate fit. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the unit itself. On the very top, it has a very fast fingerprint sensor. And this takes less than half a second to recognize it, and it has a self-learning AI that helps improve the efficiency and accuracy of your fingerprints after 20 readings for each user. On the front, it has the camera that can record in 2K, and at the center, it's got the touch-sensitive keypad. The keypad lights up when you interact with it to help you see the numbers at night. Once you're done entering the passcode, you have to tap on the little check mark on the right side. And this is also a status indicator for the lock. If it's blue, the door is unlocked. And if it's orange, the door is locked. And if it's red, there's something wrong. You can also tap and hold on the check mark to lock the door when you are leaving. So you can set a passcode from four to eight digits long, which is great because a lot of smart locks force you to use six plus digits. Of course, the shorter the digits, the less secure it is, but at least they give you the choice. Now this is a pretty cool feature where you can enter some random numbers right before or right after your passcode, but it just can't be more than 12 digits in total. And this is great in case you have someone looking over your shoulder. I personally have not touched the passcode in the past month because the fingerprint works so well for me. A convenient thing is that the deadbolt automatically locks and unlocks with the timer. And this helps you keep a peace of mind knowing that your door will always be locked when you leave. So you can set a timer from five seconds up to three minutes and the timer starts as soon as the door is open. So if the door stays open past the timer, the deadbolt will lock. The good thing is that you can set a schedule for when the timer is activated and I have it to only be active during the night. Moving on, on the bottom is the doorbell button that lights up when you press it. A cool thing is that this will also light up when someone approaches your door and this will grab their attention and let them know that this is the doorbell. The doorbell sound comes out of the interior part and is surprisingly loud by itself. Now you can buy the mini bass chime that will amplify the ring alert to whatever area you connect it to or if you have an Amazon Echo, you get the option to set up Alexa as your chime. And that is pretty sweet. And I wish this had the option to use the Google speaker as well. Now, depending on the strength of the internet connection that you have, the notification alert can be pretty fast when someone rings the doorbell. I don't have the greatest internet connection. And for me, the notification has been popping up on my phone consistently in less than a second of it being pressed. So I'm happy with that. In the app, you do have the option to switch between a notification with a thumbnail to just a notification with no image. And that's the one that I've been using. Now moving on, if we pull this out and twist it downwards, this will reveal the keyhole. Now something worth noting about this is that it doesn't support rekeying with rekeying machines such as Minikey. If you need copies of your keys, you will need to contact a professional locksmith. Now this is something worth considering before you buy this in case you need more than two physical keys. Now if you take a look at the bottom, you will see the speaker grill. And right next to that, you'll see a USB-C port. And this will only charge the lock in the event that the battery dies. There is no data that can be accessed through this port. The smart lock does have a battery indicator on top of the camera that will light up red when the battery is low. And you can also check the status of the battery in the app. So the overall build quality on this looks and feels really good. This has an IP65 water resistant rating, so it should be okay in the rain. And since it's been raining here in California, I was able to test that out and this has been holding up really well. I really like just how optimized this feels. You can unlock the door from the app without needing to open up the viewfinder like many other apps. Plus, you can integrate the door lock to any other UFI security camera that you have. And this is great because it allows you to unlock your door from any other UFI security cameras that you have. For example, if a guest pulls up to your driveway and that security camera gets triggered, you can go ahead and unlock it right from that view without having to switch back to the video smart lock. And the lock icon will show up above the live view of the security cameras that you enabled it on. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the video quality. 
The camera has an aperture of f1.6, which means that it can see very well in locations where there's very little light, because the sensor lets more light in. So the camera is able to capture better images at night. If you happen to have a door frame that extends into the camera view, then you won't be able to see everything in the frame, but Eufy has you covered. Under the night vision setting, you can turn on the night vision optimization and you can select whether the door frame is on the left or on the right side, and this will let you see a clear image in the entire frame. And it feels like Eufy thought of everything at this point. During the day, the video quality has been excellent, even though the front door has a wall on both sides that extend outwards. This makes for a pretty tough situation for cameras because of the drastic difference between the dark and bright spots. But the Eufy camera still manages to decently expose the images during sunny days. In an overcast, you can see how good the video quality is, everything is properly exposed, and you can see a lot of detail in the video. So all the footage is stored on the smart lock internal memory, and you can download the videos to your device. There's usually some compression that lowers the actual video quality, but I noticed that this did a good job at retaining a high quality. As for the audio quality, the speakers are loud and clear. And here's a quick test of that. Testing, testing, this is a quick microphone test coming from the Eufy E330 video smart lock. And this is what the audio quality will sound like to somebody standing in front of your door. So let me know your thoughts on the audio quality in the comment section. So I have the speaker set to 80% and I find that this is a good spot. Now the audio feedback is a little loud for me so I set it to soft but you can also mute it if you find it annoying. And now let's go ahead and talk about the battery. Powering the smart lock is a 10,000 mAh battery that can be removed and there's a USB-C port on the bottom to charge it. A minor inconvenience is that the charging time is a little slow. The battery will be fully charged in about 6 to 8 hours. So you will be without the smart features while you charge the battery. But don't worry, you will still be able to use the physical key to unlock the door. Or you can use a power bank to temporarily power this up so you can use your fingerprint or the keypad. Now you can pick up an additional battery for $60, this way you can always have a battery fully charged and ready to go when it's time to swap it out. In my case, I have only had this for a little over a month and so far the battery has dropped to 53%. So it's looking like this might only last me for 2 months before I need to recharge it. And this is with the balanced surveillance mode enabled. You also have the option for optimal battery life that will disable motion detection and only allow for recording when the bell is rung. Or if you don't mind a shorter battery life, you can select the optimal surveillance that will record up to 60 seconds after every event. Eufy also gives you the option to customize the duration of the recordings from 5 seconds up to 2 minute clips. And you can set the duration between each recording from 5 seconds up to 1 minute. Now let's quickly take a look at the app. You can tap on the thumbnail to go onto the live view feed and from here you can manually start recording and take a screenshot. This will be saved to your phone's gallery. You can also jump on a two-way talk from here by tapping on the phone icon. And I found this to work really well. It has been keeping a very stable connection for the time that I have been using this. Right next to this is the quick response and this is really cool. This allows you to send out a quick pre-recorded message and you can save up to three custom messages. It already comes with one automated message so technically you can have four. Excuse me, can I help you? In the app you can also see all the past events and it gives you a list of events with icons of what it detected next to it. From here you can scroll through the month and day if you're looking for a specific video and you can also select the time range of when that event happened. I have been testing this for a little over a month and so far it has been performing really well, but this is not enough time to give you a good representation of the battery life so I will keep you all updated in the comment section. Overall, this is a great option if you're looking for a video smart lock that offers 2K video recording and that it is very optimized while having a lot of useful features. Alright, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you all for watching and go ahead and smash the like button if you found the video helpful and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.